All right, folks, so uh, this is almost like a part two. HP Slimline 290, whatever the exact part number is, used to have a Celeron G4900 8th Gen in it. It now has the 9th Gen i3-9100. So um, I guess I'm not actually the only one that's done this, even though uh, had I have done this a couple weeks ago when I thought about doing it, I might have been the first one. But uh, we're going to run the benchmark and see how it compares. I've got a crappy hard drive in here and uh, 8 gigs of RAM. But we did upgrade from the Celeron, so we should get some improvements. It obviously put more RAM in it, and I previously put a solid-state drive in here. I'll probably put that back in there um, just to get this thing uh, moving a little better. But... I have suddenly thought, you know, I can start taking this on travel with me. Uh, it's actually really small. It's light. Of course, you got to take a keyboard and a mouse, but uh, it actually would work really good in a hotel room uh, hooked up to a big screen TV such as the one I've got uh, in front of us. So let me uh, get the benchmark going. So we're going to use CPU user benchmark right here. And we're going to get it running in a moment. I'll come back and we will check out the scores. All right, so our benchmark is done. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. So for uh, gaming, we ended up with uh, 17%. Desktop 55 and workstation 29. So... Quite a bit of improvement over the Celeron. In the moment, I'll show you where you can see some of the other 9th gen chips that people have upgraded to. Now, this did have only 8 gigs of RAM. And uh, to be quite honest with you, I also put in the crappiest hard drive. Um, which isn't, you know, the best for benchmark. But I'm starting to run out of parts here. So there's our uh, i3 processor. We got a good one because it's uh, in the 89th percentile. And uh, you can see the single core, quad core, and multi core scores. And this CPU performs quite well, single and quad core, not so great in multi core. But for most gaming and things like that, it's a great processor. Now, uh, the crappy integrated graphics that uh, bring it down for gaming, that's uh, just absolutely terrible. And then the hard drive, uh, performing as expected, but 18.2% bench score for that. So just using this computer has, has been honestly painful with that in there. So I'm going to have to put an SSD in there and probably run this again. Now, if we go down to typical slim desktops, we can take a look at what other chips people have used. In case you're not familiar with this, this is a great way to find out about other uh, things people have done. So, right here, you see, uh, this is interesting. Somebody has hooked up a external power supply most likely and a used a PCI Express ribbon cable and been able to actually do some decent gaming on this computer um, why they spent so much time and effort I'll never know um, of course I do things like that if you've seen some of my Dell computer videos but uh, I'm not sure I would do it with this one it's a it's a little more uh, tedious but there you see i7-8700, i5-8400, i3-8100, and then the Celeron G49. So somebody had an RX 460 that they used. Probably the, um, that one was actually probably me, folks. Matter of fact, that was, that was me using the external ribbon connector. Um, <clears throat> 
So GT1030 is very common with this, the low profile. That one would actually probably fit inside the case. Pentium Golds have been used. More i7-8700s, which is probably, may be the best processor in here, but there is an i7-9700. So nobody has actually used that one yet that I have seen. But I did see um, another 9th gen chip that I wanted to make you all aware of. There it is. This guy, or, or woman, i5-9400. So it would appear not only is the i3-9100 compatible, but the i5-9400 is compatible. So that's good news. Other than that, besides the i3-9100, if there was a better chip, better 9th gen chip, the gaming score would have been higher. So it's probably pointless to keep looking. Even though I don't, I never did see mine in here. But yeah, uh, just wanted to share that with y'all. Ninth gen chips. Oh, there we are. There's me. So only two people have put ninth gen chips in here, and there I am, 19 minutes ago. So I did run this before, but uh, at high CP CPU usage, so I ran it again. But uh, there we are. So. Not too bad. And if you go down further, it starts to get into the gamings of 13, which is all your Celerons. And somewhere in there, we'd probably find myself from before i3-8100. So just the scores keep dropping. Yeah, there you go. Not so good with those. All right, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.